Hey everyone, I'm Nick Raboy from MongoDB, and in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to create a database within your MongoDB instance. So up on my screen, you'll notice that I do have the MongoDB shell open, and I am connected to one of my MongoDB instances. In this case, I am connected to a MongoDB Atlas instance, but if you are using self-hosted MongoDB, that will work fine for this particular tutorial. So we're gonna kick things off by showing what databases that we actually have. So we're gonna say show DBs, and you'll notice that I have two, and these are the default created databases for MongoDB. Now what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna say use DB Inc. Now that database does not currently exist, but when I go ahead and hit that enter key, it says switch to DB Inc. However, if I say show DBs, that database has not yet been created. So that is just a context to the database. Now to create a database within MongoDB, you have to create data to it first. And that could be either by creating a collection or that can be by actually inserting data. So we're gonna see both ways. So I'm gonna kick things off by creating a collection and showing that the database was created that way. So I'm gonna say db.createCollection and I'm gonna call this the people collection. Now you'll notice that in this particular example, db is referencing db inc and we're saying create collection people. Now that collection was created. So if I say show dbs, you'll notice that I do now have a DB Inc database in the list. So that alternative method, we will be creating data. I do not have the DB Inc database anymore. It has been removed. So I'm gonna say use DB Inc. Once again, that database was not yet created and I'm not creating a collection directly this time. Instead, I'm gonna say DB for DB Inc. And I'm gonna say people dot insert one. And that's going to insert one single document. And I'm going to have a name field for this document. I'm just going to call it Nick Raboy, which is me. I'm going to insert it. Looks like it was inserted correctly. I'm going to say show DBs. It's going to show that I have the DB Inc database. And if I really wanted to, I could say show collections and it'll show me that people collection. So just like that, we saw two different ways to create a database within MongoDB. And like I said before, the database doesn't actually get created until you start creating data within it. And that data could be a collection or it could be actual documents within a collection. And that collection will be created automatically just like that database was. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that way you can catch future videos along the way.